Hey guys, the Plurable Deb here. You know, yesterday when I listened to uh, Linda Cesaro and her speech where she talked about her Allah, okay, and that uh, they're going to do what Allah wants them to do, you know, and that's their Allah, and that the Muslims are not going to assimilate. Okay, all of this. And then she said about how when she wakes up every morning, how she hates to know uh, white supremacy is in the White House and all of this and all of that. Well, you know what, Linda? I wake up in the morning, too, and many other Americans, and we're pretty disgusted when I even have to hear that there are any marches or people like you. Nothing like this should be ever going on in the United States. We shouldn't even have this discussion, okay? We have one God, okay? Our God. See? And he's not Allah. He's God. And also, what gets me is that you, uh, we, we shouldn't even have courts discussing Sharia law. We shouldn't allow you to be even uh, given speeches on anything with Sharia law or genital, uh, um, you know, mutilation and things like that that are happening to six and eight year old girls. See, that's where I get up in the morning and I'm a little uh, upset about that. That makes me sick because we're the USA. See what I mean? We're the United States. And I feel that any of your talk like that needs to be in another country, not here. And that's what makes me sick. I never thought in all my years that I'm going to even hear this or to hear that there could be uh, even an issue where they're going to talk about in court to have Sharia law. See what I mean? We shouldn't even be talking about it. That's what gets me. We shouldn't even be having these conversations. You shouldn't be out there marching. That's, that's the problem. It should be Zippo. It, it shouldn't even be uh, on, on the tip of our tongue. That's what upsets me. And then we have someone like you that's asking for jihad. See what I mean? Because you know what? You are no different than uh, a terrorist, okay? You're doing the same thing. When, when these uh, terrorists go with bombs strapped on them, you're no different. You're doing the same thing, except you're pushing it, okay? You're doing it in a different way. You're doing it in speeches and in words, and that's the thing that bothers me. It bothers a lot of other Americans that we shouldn't even have this. Our children should not be uh, subject to this, that we, they have to worry that there could be a court that's going to vote okay to have this we're under the constitution that's it and and if you want your whatever you believe or ideology should not be here those are the things and then you turn around and you even say about our well you know what we have god he's my god yep my god and this is how i feel about my god Bye. Down the street, walks. Da 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 da. The hair. Song. In the street, my heart just can't play. It's a beat. I'm gonna walk right up to him. Give him a great big kiss. Tell my God I love him. Tell my God I care. Tell my God I'll always be there. Yep, Linda. In the USA, we have God. See? No Allah. Okay? We have God. Tell me more. My God? He doesn't tell people to get their heads cut off. He doesn't torture pets and dogs, okay? He doesn't ha allow little six-year-old and eight-year-old girls to have their genitals cut, okay? And he doesn't allow nine-year-old girls to be married to 60-year-old men, okay? That's our God. Right up to him.
Give him a great big kiss. Tell my God I love him. Tell my God I care. Tell my God I'll always be there. Yep, Linda. It's not Allah. We call him God. And our God is back. Yep. So you need to take your Allah and your jihad shit and get out. That's it. We love our God.